Hey guys, James here today, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood, or whatever I've, whatever I've decided to name the series, I'm not actually sure. Uh, so, if you want to have a little bit of a background and a little bit of an introduction to this series, I suggest you go watch the house building video, because we did a video on this uh, just the other day, with, uh, you know, going through the house building process, and I gave a little bit of, um, you know, context to this series and what we're going to be doing and all that. But of course, I'll give you some here now as well. Now, this sim, our little child, Beautiful little Max Power. If you are new to the channel and you don't know who that is, he is the sim I've been using to do the Super Sim Challenge for the past year, basically achieving every skill point, every aspiration, and completing every career. Basically, he's a sim that's trying to achieve everything in life, but this is kind of like a prequel series to that series. So we're going to show the story of how he ended up being the person that wanted to achieve everything. And uh, basically, he's growing up in a house that uh, is... You know, a little bit, uh, a little bit different, a little bit quirky. Uh, got very artsy parents, and the astute uh, of you may re like recognize the look of these two Sims as very similar to the way Ned Flanders' parents look in The Simpsons. Uh, that's where we got the inspiration for their look and <laughs> for their style as well. Anyway, I guess the pretty much the goal of this is to be the worst parents like we want everything to be negative uncontrolled emotions is what we want to go for here and we want to go bad manners you know irresponsible argumentative and insensitive like we want him to be as bad as he can so then when he gets to adulthood the idea is that like he's really is reforming himself and he wants to be the best at everything so that's the idea of how he gets into being the super sim now this is the first time i've played uh parenthood so i don't actually know what uh what do we need to do? We can make some funny faces, apparently. So that's something we can do. Ooh, parenting. Teach me to say please and thank you. Teach to say sorry. No, we're not going to do that. We're gonna, basically, the idea is the parents kind of let him do what he wants. But then when we have those teachable moments, we teach it wrong. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of the idea. We teach we teach the child wrong. But, you know, Max, why don't you go watch some toddler videos? That'll be fun. Uh, and then the parents. Uh, so actually, you know what? We've got $20,000, which I actually don't want $20,000. That was kind of left over from building the house. I'm going to actually take that down to, let's go to like 3000 So we'll start off with like 3000 bucks. So not a lot of money. We don't have any job. We've got to pay the bills somehow as well. And I ideally would like to have another child at some point and actually introduce a sibling of Max's. Maybe that they care for a little bit more than him. And that's also another reason why he's gone out of his way. I don't know, like there's a, there's a few cool ideas we could do here. And I was thinking, because like looking at this house, you can see how haphazard it is. We could like just tack on another room somewhere <laughs> if we have another child. But I think we need to get, we need to have a job. Uh, well, so one of these people need to have a job, an actual job. I guess they could paint or something, but... I think one of them needs to have an actual job. So I'm going to get you to have a look for a job. Find a job. I, I believe you can just be an artist, right? So we maybe we'll just do that because he looks pretty arty. Because we don't, we don't have the berets because you can unlock the beret through the art career, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or the painter. Is it the painter career or is it the... It must be the painter career, right? Critic. Maybe it's critic, and then you go into, like, art critic. Yeah, yeah, Then you go, okay, we'll be a critic, and then we'll go into arts critic, because that's when you unlock the beret, as you can see that sim right there is wearing. And then we can wear a beret, and we'll be sweet. Right, so he's going to do that. That'll be a little bit of money on the side. Uh, you, uh, work assignment. Oh, okay, hello. Uh, should Max, uh, Max, oh yeah, his name is Maxwood Power. I didn't even introduce, <laughs> that's Agnes Power, that's Maxwood. Maxwood Power, get a jump start and accept this assignment. Okay, sure. What do we have to do? Uh, level up writing skill. Okay, I guess you can... Oh, we don't actually have a computer. <laughs> That's something we don't have. I guess we'll have to find some room for that. Um, I mean, we definitely can fit it in somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, so this... This is the beauty of this house. It's such like a little cramped mess that I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to try and like shove things in. Uh, so let's go for surfaces. Uh, I guess desks. Uh, we do have smaller desks now as well, which is... Okay, we need enough money for a desk and a computer. Uh, I'm just trying to see if we like shoved it. We shoved it in the hallway, maybe. Like if we, we could remove. Mm, maybe in the kitchen somewhere. I guess you, you. We could fit it in the kitchen area. Okay, if we put it like there. Hang on, let me just move objects. Nope, sorry. There we go. Move objects. Get it there by the window. Move the high chair. So put it over here. That'll be fine. Just in the corner. I mean, really, it should probably be by the dining table. Let's put it there. I don't know if they can get to that. We'll find out, obviously. We'll move this toy chest. We do have a, uh, we do have quite a few toy chests in this house. And by quite a few, I mean two. We have one there and I think, yeah, one upstairs. So we're pretty good parents in that way. Uh, is there a better recolor of this? So it's a little bit more tacky. 
Not tacky, just I guess a little bit more old. Uh, right, and then we need a dining chair as well. Maybe this one, the 165. That's a nice chair, isn't it? Get that in there. Nice different chairs everywhere. We've got to keep, we've got to keep the theme up. We can't, we can't be going too crazy here. All right, and then a computer. Let's get this one. There you go. Now you can sit by the window and uh, work on your writing skill. Look at that. That's nice. Right, okay. Right column. No, just go practice writing. That's what you need to do. All right, so you've got your communication skill up quite well. You, on the other hand, I think, because uh, I believe... Are you, what are you, what are your traits? So this is Agnes Power. She is creative, an art lover, a music lover, and she is a muser from choosing creativity aspiration. So I think these sims are going to kind of be about themselves. Start three paintings while inspired, paint for five hours. Well, why don't we get inspired? Oh, be gross. That's new. Belch and fart. Um, well, maybe that's not new, but <laughs> I haven't seen that before. Uh, right, let's cloud gaze, because if we just get inspired real quick, get some inspiration for some great paintings, and we can do that. Uh, so little... Max is sitting here watching some videos, which is good. And then um, I guess we'll have lunch. So we can still... Uh, yeah, so setting the table is pretty cool. I believe that's something that's new. Oh, and actually, I was wondering if maybe we should... Uh, so this... That's that locked one. I was wondering maybe if we should swap it out for the throw... Like the new stove. Because I, I don't know. When I was building this, for some reason, I don't think I saw the new stove. So maybe if we just swap those out. Um, go for a... The brown one. That's beautiful. There you go. Ah, that's nice. Cool. All right. So, yeah, you, you've acquired the writing skill. So, actually, that should be your... Oh, no, no. you got to actually level up. Sorry. Level up the writing skill. Uh, that'll be good. Work in 21 hours. You're inspired. So, we do have our easel all right here for a bit of painting. Classic painting. Go do a large one. So, if we can get a little bit of money rolling there as well. We have our beautiful flamingos here. Oh, I can admire those. I wonder if they'll get inspired. I don't know. I, I'm pretty happy with this house. Oh, I don't think she can paint there. It's not in a good spot. Uh, it might be because... Is it because of these are there? I don't know. There's like a little paint. Uh, what if I just chuck them there? Is that the issue? Or is it... Yeah, I think it, it was that for some reason. Just them being underneath it means you can't use it for whatever reason. Anyway, so you paint there. You'll enjoy that. Uh, so yeah, you want to... Start three paintings on inspired, paint for five hours. So we should actually be able to achieve that quite well. You want to plant something three times. That's right. That's the other thing we wanted to do was grow our little veggie patch out here. Quote unquote veggie patch. Yes, that's what we're going to be growing. Um, so let's order some seeds. Uh, not void critters. Purchase seeds. We want to get some starter, starter herbs and starter veggies. And maybe from fruits as well. I don't want flowers. Who cares about flowers? We want something that's actually useful to grow. Uh, so we'll we'll get like a nice variety of stuff out here, which would be quite good. So we'll open those up. Oh, okay. And that one there. Okay, so now these are not going to be for money. They're just going to be so we can actually have a little veggie patch, which I thought would be kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to grow bananas. That seems weird. Or apples, actually. That's like a whole tree. I don't want to grow like a whole tree of stuff. Uh, get some of that in there. I don't know what the spacing is like on these. Oh, we got a welcome wagon. Oh, that's nice. Get some mushrooms out over here as well. Okay, so that'll be for now. Because uh, I don't I don't really want to grow apple trees or banana tree, I don't think. Because who, who has their own banana tree in their garden? Especially in this climate. Like, this does not look like a tropical climate to be growing bananas. Like, it does, doesn't make any sense. Um, all right. I guess I'll go say hi to the neighbors. Uh, invite neighbors in. Might as well. That'd be the nice thing to do. Welcome them to our beautiful home. That we've just put together ourselves, as you can quite plainly tell. I don't, I, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a great home. How are you doing, Max? You're doing alright. Um, so, is there anything we can do to, like, the parenting? See, I don't want to teach you to say please and thank you. That's what we don't want to do. Toddler care, maybe. Just a general care. I don't want to change your outfit. Um, lecture about misbehavior. See, that seems like a good thing. I really want him to do something that we can reinforce negatively. <laughs> and just like really not be good. See, we can do a lot of good things, I think. Hug lovingly. That's not what... Maybe if we... Hang on. Mean. Scold. No, I don't want to, I don't want to be mean parents. I just want to be unattentive parents. It's real, uh, you know what? We'll just leave him to his own devices. We'll see how we go. And then we'll work on having another child as well. I think that's the, that's the other key thing here is having another child. Um... So we've got four sims here. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I know that one guy. I should probably say hello to everybody else. Be funny to them. Bring your neighbor to you. And uh, I'll be friendly to you. There we go. I just, I just want to get to know everyone, you know, get to know some new people. 
Is that some nice fruit cake? Oh, Beautiful oh. gourmet fruit cake, actually. So that's not bad. I might grab a grab a slice of that. Pack into sack lunch. Oh, that's cool. I want to do that. Put it in a sack lunch. I like all the new little interactions. <laughs> all right. So I know I know Luca, Summer, Liberty, and Travis. Okay, can we stop talking to them now? I want to pack my fruit cake into a sack lunch so I can take it to work with me. <laughs> can I just take that to work. My critic job. That I somehow got. There we go. Oh, look at that. Is he going to put that down and then he can like... Oh, I thought he was going to put it on the table. So then can I just like eat that whenever? Unpack sack lunch. Yeah. No, does it, does it, it doesn't say it goes off when it's in... Oh, actually no, fruitcake never goes off, does it? Yeah, it just lasts forever. Uh, grab a serving for yourself. Not for Max, I guess pick up serving. Can I just eat it? Oh, take a piece. It's probably probably the option I want to go for there. I uh, hope you like the fruitcake. It's a family heirloom. Oh, I feel like we should not be eating a family heirloom. I like how we have no room for these people in this house as well. Like, they're just in the hallway because there's no <laughs> there's no room in the house. It's just like, yeah, just, just stand in the hallway. Uh, that, that'll that be fine, guys. There you go. And then in the living room, got little Max there. Oh, the painting's done. Yeah. There you go. Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Aw. All right. Well, anyway, let's... um. Can we sell that? Or maybe we should keep it. Let's keep our first few ones, because they're going to be crap anyway. Uh, frame canvas. That is $95. We, I mean, we lost money on this painting. That's how crap it is. But we'll, we'll put it up on the wall, because I feel like they're those kind of people that are just going to put up their own art everywhere. Well, I mean, I guess they are, because they're, they're artsy folks, so that makes sense. Okay, so Max Wood. Sorry, not Max. Max Wood. I would like you to... Uh, go, you know, maybe get to know your wife, because you don't really know her. Deep conversation. Let's go talk to your wife. Because we want to have another child, I think. I, I think that's the child that we're going to be really good parents with. And then we're going to be really bad with <laughs> with Max. I think that's what we're going to do. That's a good way to focus our efforts. There we go. Hello, hello. Whisper seductively. Ooh, would you like another child? Oh, yeah. Should we just make out in front of Max and like all these random people in our house? Let's just do that. That seems like the kind of thing good parents would do. Oh, she's sitting outside in our garden. That's nice. So she's sitting out on the bench there. And then those guys are just in there having a having a little chat, you know. Oh yeah, what's in there? What's in the news today? Oh oh yeah, hello, hello hello, whispering. Psst, psst, psst. The neighbors are really weird, aren't they? They're super weird. Oh okay, she's gone now. Okay, well I was just trying to have a nice. Why did you leave a book out there? Is that our book? Um, anyway, uh, so let's go for oh it's kiss cheek. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, bright and day. Oh, is that sweet? Help fix bad relationship. I mean, that's not a bad relationship. You only just met each other. How, how is that a bad relationship? Profess undying love. Oh, That's nice. We'll do a little bit of flirting as well. And then we'll go, no, you know what? We won't woohoo. That's a waste of our time. We'll go try for a baby. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll get the ball rolling on that as soon as possible. Try for baby. There we go. Because, anyway, I mean, Max is already a toddler. Actually, how long do we... You're actually really sad. Um, can you just go use... You can't use that by yourself, can you? No, you need potty help. Uh, okay, well, they're about to try for babies, so we probably actually can't uh, do that right now. Are you... Yeah, you're going to try for baby. You're just waiting here for some reason. No, you're not. Okay, here. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, you actually need to potty train him, though, just so he can use the toilet at some point. <laughs> so we'll do that. I think that's kind of important. All right, would you like to learn how to use the toilet? No. All righty. It's fine. He also had some negative sort of impact there as well on something. Which is good. I like that. I like that. The manners are getting there though, which I don't like. Um, hang on, let's jump up here so we can have a look. Character values. So how do we... So negative manners are earned by burping or fighting, swearing or rude introductions. Toddlers taking their clothes off in front of strangers is also bad manners. Can we do that? Be gross. Oh, we can just... Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. We can totally do that. Nap on ground, take clothes off. Yes, that's what we want to do. <laughs> so we'll do that in a second. All right, so you're doing an angry poop because you're angry and you're pooping, so that's good. I don't actually know if they can. he can fit around that side of the bed. That might have been the problem because we do have a mirror like right there. Um, well, anyway, can you just... Oh, you need to go to the toilet as well. Um, you can use the one downstairs. Go use that. You use that toilet. You keep potty training Max and then we'll get him to take his clothes off in front of strangers and all that and then just make him really bad-mannered. 
But will it be like, nah, he's a free spirit. You know, boys will be boys. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Um, I think it's time to be going. Oh, okay. That's disappointing. Um, are you done yet? Hurry up. At least he's getting a lot of attention too. That's good. Yep. Yep. There you go. You're doing a poop. You're still... Oh, God. It takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever for that. Where are you? You're somewhere down here. Doing landscape painting. Landscape paintings are the worst. So go do that. So everyone's left, which is unfortunate. Um... But we, I guess we can still do some burping and farting, which is, should be okay. Well, does that have to be in front of other people, or is that just... Uh, hang on. Or is that just... Uh, no, just burping, uh, farting, swearing, and rude introductions. Okay, there you go. Now, let's be gross. Do a belch, and then do a fart. There we go. What does that look like? <laughs> nice! Yeah, negative manners. That's what we like to see. <laughs> he loves it too. I like I like I like that he loves it. That's great stuff. Um, you wanna take your clothes off? Whoop! But there's no one else around, so I guess that's not really negative. All right. Anyway, so can you go? Yeah, you just wander around this one. You can you go? So can you actually get around that side of the bed? No, you can't. All right, that mirror is definitely in the way. So whoops, that's the gallery. <laughs> that's the gallery. All right. So if we move this guy, see so he was there, so it didn't intersect with the curtain. But I guess I'm gonna have to do that. To move this guy, maybe like there. Can you can you fit around now? It's like a little bit more space. Wait, where did you go? How did you get down here? Yes, I think he also needs to go to the toilet. But <laughs> let's see if this works first. Nope, still can't get there. All right, well, okay, fine. Go to the toilet, and then I think we're just gonna have to move that mirror or just get rid of it because it's just in the way. Uh, maybe if we put it. So I do want a mirror, but it's not really. <laughs> How about just in front of the bed? There you go. <laughs> Just at the end of the bed. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll go right there. Good. Alright, now you uh, go... Actually, claim that. And then you claim the other side. I think it's... Is that how that works? I don't know. Anyway, you get up here, please. Go sit there. Alright. Then you... No, why would you go downstairs? Just wash your hands. Oh, actually, maybe they can't use that. No, they can't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just put all this stuff here to make it look cool, but if it doesn't work. It's kind of useless, right? I don't know if that tub can be used either. Okay, wash hands. Maybe. So you're sitting there. Okay, so now we can use that. That's good. All right, here we go. Try for baby with Agnes and then Max. I think Max is doing okay at the moment. Uh, let's just do some more be grossing. Because I don't like that we have a little green bar going on there. That's no good. Uh... Do a little fart as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking the green. Okay, cool. That's better. So what about responsibility? How do we... Poorly in school, breaking curfew or dissipating... Okay, so that's kind of more like when we're a child. Um, toddlers and children making a mess will dis uh, decrease responsibility as well as teens quitting their job. Okay. Uh, breakdown, shoving or biting. Okay. I'm just saying all the negative things. Being mean, yelling at another sim. Okay, I think a lot of this stuff is probably going to happen when we're a child. Uh... Look, can we like just make a mess or something? How do we make a mess? Play with toy. Well, anyway, I think he's hungry, so we kind of need to feed him. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to get you... Again, I don't know if we can use this, but we'll see if we can put Max there. Okay, so you try for your baby. That's good stuff. I like that. I like it. I like it. Uh, no, don't potty train. That was a mistake. Uh, go... Pregnancy test. There you go. So you... No, you're still... You're not putting Max there. Okay, put... Max, here, please, if it works. Oh, she's not pregnant. Really? It's like the one time in Sims that you don't get pregnant is when you need to be pregnant. Now, actually, so a lot of, uh, I need to have a look at some of this parenthood stuff because I think some of the things we can make more messes with. Uh, kids, let's have a look. Oh, actually, I'll just do show all. And then just go pack, oops, packs, and we're gonna go to parenthood. Okay, so a lot of the, like these kind of things, so those are the you know, recommended for children. I don't know if toddlers can do that. Children only for that one. Um, kids toy tub. I just want something that we can really make a mess with. Arts and crafts box. I don't think these, are these actually usable or is this just like decoration? I feel like it's just decoration, but I don't actually know. Let's have a look. Maybe activities and skills. Family bulletin board. That's the only activity and skills from parenthood. Kids, uh, toddlers, kids' activities. 
That's children, right? Yeah, a lot of stuff is children. So I think as a toddler, toddlers can use this though. But I don't know where to put this. There's not a lot of room in this house is the problem. <laughs> Let's put it out in the garden for now. Just to see. I just want to see what that does. Because I, I don't know. Build, apparently. We can do stuff with that. All right. Are you... Uh, okay, you're in the high chair, which is actually really, really handy. All right. Give food. Um, oh, actually, you can give food from inventory. I just noticed that. Oh, I can give you a plantain or some apples. How about I give you, uh, let's give you some animal crackers. That sounds like a good wholesome lunch. There you go. Oh, I like that it actually works and I can kind of sit around the table. Ah, nice. There's three plates on the floor too. Let's clean those up. <laughs> I don't like those sitting around. Okay, so you do that. Can you make like a mess out of this? Yeah, make a mess because that will be good for your negative manners or something. Oh, what was that for? Maybe it was for responsibility. Or was it nothing? That, that did nothing. Okay, well, you're definitely still hungry, so I'm going to have to give you some more food. Um, I'll give you a ham and cheese sandwich. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's what you're after. Oh, actually, no, you're not hungry. No, you're fine. Don't do that. Uh, can you go put uh, Max to bed? No, don't read Max to sleep. That's that's too good. Just put him to sleep. Okay, you now. Uh, do you want to go serve some dinner for Maxwood and yourself? Actually, hang on. Let's just go. Oops. Let's go cook. We'll just choose something. We'll do we'll do a garden salad for a family size. Four servings, that'll be good. So you go do that. Max is being put to sleep. And then Maxwood and Agnes can have a lovely romantic romantic dinner and hopefully uh, have a child come along the way. There you go. So now okay, so ideally what we have to do. I'm not I'm really not liking the empathy that's going up here. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like the emotional control seeming to be good. The only one that we're really getting at here in the red is this one. Ideally, we want it to be like four, like all the way red. But we have all the way to being a teen. So I think that's fine. Like seven days as a toddler. Like we got we got time. I think we got, we got time on our side. I think that's what's important. All right, go sit there. Because uh, Agnes is making some lovely, lovely dinner. <laughs> this horribly messy kitchen. There's like food and crap all over the floor. I do like it though. It's a good, good looking kitchen. Yeah, there we go. Good. All right, so do you want to go grab a serving of that? I guess we could have we could have set the table. That would have been nice. Party setting, fancy setting, casual setting, yellow, tan, red. Why isn't there like a rainbow like different on each setting? Can you? Why don't you sit down at the table as well? Do you guys want to like sit down and eat or sit? Maybe sit. Do you guys want to like sit and eat or just like stand in the kitchen? Because <laughs> you're just standing in the kitchen at the moment, like you're not really doing much. Um, sad, fail to be, fail to conceive. Oh, that's sad. Okay, now you're sitting down. Okay, good. Well, that's not what I wanted you to do, so that that's fine. Um, right. So for work, uh, you never actually leveled up that writing seal. But before we do that, okay, finish your salad. We'll leave that salad on the counter there. Foodie lesson, good. All right. So you put that. Th I like how they have like some weird high tech fridge in this house. <laughs> Like a screen and that on it. All right, so let's go up here. Let's try for a baby again. Let's try one more time. See if that works. All right, let's walk over to the kitchen to... There we go. And then walk out of the kitchen and back upstairs. Let's try it out. Okay, good luck. You can do it. How's Max going? Also, I feel like these lights should definitely be auto lights in this room. And there we go. And probably in this room too. Auto lights in this room. There we go. Um, Good. I mean, I, I thought so far so good. I mean, we're getting there. Uh, do you, would you like to wake up and just see if you're actually pregnant? Take a pregnancy test. There you go. Any luck? There, there we go. Fantastic. That's good news. Uh, cool. All right. So I'm going to leave this first part here. So we have a sibling on the way. Max is on his way to being raised poorly, which is what I like to see. What I like to see. But we're going to have to do some more. We're going to have to invite some friends over and really just get him to have really bad manners. And also hopefully start yelling at people and just just being an awful, awful child is what is what we really, really want to do here. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.